For many years, unionism has been agreed on its policy objective. The protocol was unsatisfactory, was not acceptable to anyone within unionism. Uh, the Windsor framework uh, was an improvement. Uh, there might have been some debate and discussion as to the extent of the improvement, but there can be no doubt that the Safeguarding the Union Command paper is a very substantial improvement uh, upon both those previous uh, documents. Uh, so that is uh, an unassailable fact. The other unassailable fact is that we have not yet reached the promised land. There is still more work uh, to be done. There is still room for more improvement. Now, given those two accepted facts, then we have to look at what are the best tactics for us to achieve the other objectives that are still outstanding. Uh, you can, of course, continue with a boycott uh, of Stormont. That risks losing the benefits that are uh, contained within the command paper. Uh, or you can change your strategy, go into the assembly uh, and proceed using the procedures within the Safeguarding the Union document uh, to analyse, to monitor and to review the processes and to seek further uh, improvements. That seems to be the sensible way forward for unionism. And it certainly falls well short of the, the nonsense that some people uh, are uh, discussing of sellout and betrayal. Uh, it is a sensible way to go forward, bank all of the very considerable improvements that Sir Geoffrey and his team have been able to uh, achieve and move forward to get even more. Uh, he has carried a very heavy load. The burden should be shared by other unionists rather than them adding to it.